it's Monday, um, October 10th. Halloween is only three weeks away. First of all, let's sit with that. Oops, and then um, second of all, uh, I'm gonna go and put up a lot of my outside decorations yesterday, as you guys saw, but it's still like not enough. Um, so I need to put up lights today. I'm just so tired, I don't know why. I'm gonna take a caffeine pill a little bit. I'm like so tired today. Um, but also, I need to, I'm on my way to return an Amazon package because we had all bought the Halloween Crocs, the Hocus Pocus Crocs. Um, I bought mine first and then my mom bought one for her and a pair for her and my sister. And hers came, we were supposed to come yesterday and instead it was like a stuffed animal. Um, so... Yeah, and it said like, oh, these were delivered and handed directly to the recipient, but they were not Crocs. They were they were a stuffed animal. So we're gonna return that. Um, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods drop off and do that there, and then while I'm there, I'm gonna might peruse Michaels and see if they have anything. I don't know if I've been to Michaels there in a while. They had a lot of stuff like online that I wanted. I don't know. We'll see. So anyway. I don't know, I might just skip that, I don't know. And then um, I'm gonna go to the dollar store because I have all these skulls and I wanna make um, a cage to, well, I wanted it to be like the cage that um, Jay and Ice hang out, hung, hung, in, hung out of, were in, the cage that they were in, but, um, I was gonna use my skeleton, but I think instead I'm gonna just use this bucket of head skulls that I have. This bucket of heads, this bucket of skulls that I have. I'm gonna put those in them and then make like a hanging cage and have that fill the space where we used to have this ghost that would fly around, but um, somebody jumped up and ate it. So there's that. decorations even though I haven't even done this one but I was like oh my god how cute would it be, be to just do like a whole like Mickey pumpkin house like make the house into Mickey pumpkin I don't know how I would do it but I just thought it'd be really cute so that's what I think about remember when I said oh, I probably won't go to Michael's $80 later I like blacked out <laughs> so I was originally going to use the laundry baskets to like build a cage and then put them in, but they were like six bucks a piece. 
So instead I found these, they're a pretty decent size, they were $2.50. So I got three of them and I'm thinking maybe I'll just put a skull in here and then I can hide, um, hang them at like different heights. I don't know. Hi, we're outside. Um, so I am gonna put up some lights right now. I found this whole box of lights in the garage yesterday, so I'm gonna put those up. I'm also gonna hope that this thing doesn't knock over because the dogs are already running around and I don't know how stable it's gonna be and I don't want them to crack my phone. So I'm just gonna use this wire to like hold it in place. I think that's good thing. I think we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna put up the lights and then I found these. So I bought these at the dollar store for $2.50. So I think what I'm gonna do, what I'm thinking of doing instead, because they come open, like there's no like door for them, but they come open with like this little thing there. So you can, oop, or that. Um, and I've got all these skull heads. So I figured I could maybe just toss them in there. And then, how's that? Is that dumb? Can you see them? And have them hanging like from the tree? I don't know. We'll try it because I have my skulls. I don't know what I'm going to do with them anyway. So I figured this could. All right, you know when the hair comes up, it means it's time to get to work. So I really had a lot to do. I feel like this was just like an hour worth of me getting up and down a ladder, but I had to take off all the lights that were already on the roof because they've been there for years and half of them were burnt out. So I just went through the process of taking them all off, testing to see which ones actually worked and which ones were dead. Um, so I had to get like get rid of half of them and then see what I could continue to use. And as you can probably guess, most of the lights didn't work. There was literally one strand that I could actually salvage from this box. So, I have lights going around there, around the window, and then they go around here too and are connected to that spider. So what I'm thinking, because those lights I found are like curtains, fringe. So I'm thinking maybe I'll take off all those lights and just put it around the window and then have those fringe ones hanging around the top where the nails are. I'll try. I feel like this day was just like a lot of me getting up and down the ladder and making mistakes because once I got all these old dead lights removed and sorted in piles of like which were good and which were not, um, I was so excited to try to put those fringe lights up, but I didn't realize how freaking short they were. And I tried to like put them in front of me. I'd say there's about like nine feet of window there. And this is maybe five feet of light. Um, so it obviously did not stretch across like I wanted it to. Um, <laughs> So I was really upset because I'd already gotten up on the ladder, hung it all up, only to realize this wasn't going to work. So then I had to get back up, take it all down, and just get a little pain in the ass. That's all I'll say. As you can see, that strand of light was way smaller than I thought. But we have that inflatable spider that goes like on top of the thing. But we still have nails over there. So what I'm thinking is... Actually, hold the phone. Just remember that I have a giant spider web and spider. Right. 
five meters, so it's really big. So, theoretically, hmm, I could put it on that corner pink, and then have the spider there too. What is it gonna do? Of course, I forgot to move the camera and didn't film any of the part where I put up the spider. Um, and even here, again, I was trying to center the fringe and it was still off center. So it was very frustrating. I messed with this thing for way too long and finally gave up. But anyway, so that big uh, spider web was like chenille yarn and it was it's really cool but it's also very very long like I think it, what did it say like seven meters so it was super super long it would have extended all the way out to the other side of the porch and like it is a functional porch I mean we do get inside the house on it and I know one that the dogs would get in the way but two like it just wouldn't be practical so I just kind of kept again getting up moving around the lights and then it was still a little bit too short so I found another set of lights to fill that gap in a little bit but then I still had a gap from the fringe of course um, but I used those to extend and then I didn't realize those were like indoor lights so they didn't have um, a connecting and connected and like the male and female part um, so that orange strand of light worked but it only went so far and then like I'd still have to add in another strand of lights to cover the rest of the area so yeah again a lot of taking things off and putting things on and taking them off again it was very annoying but I got this spider up there I kept I kept trying to make it work with the web but it just was not happening I wanted to make it look like it was coming off the web or like hanging onto the web so I wound up tying it up at the top um, at one of the the nails that are on the posts of the roof but um, I also take my inflatables in every night um, so that was like really hard to take apart last night it looked really cool but like dangling from there but just again not very practical because I'd be taking it in every day and granted like I could leave them out but inflatables get stolen a lot here so I didn't want to risk it um, but yeah the spider web just was not working I really wanted it to I think next year maybe I can try putting it on the side of the house or on the front of the house but definitely didn't work this time um, so just wound up taking it off it did have that spider attached to it so I did wind up using that and I just like I had that little excess piece of lights so I just um, attached it to it and then like had it dangle down to make it look like that was the spider web that it was falling from um, and then stapled the ends of the legs onto the wall so it would spread out um, I definitely need to go and readjust those <laughs> because they're still like clumped together but I think it looks cute there anyway but definitely yeah I can move the legs around I'm getting settled for the night um, but I want to do a quick overhaul overhaul a quick haul of what I bought at Michael's yesterday may have blacked out went in there with no intention of buying anything and <sighs> left with $70 worth of stuff it happens I mean you know I think we're all guilty of blacking out at the craft store at least once in life um, but I'd gone in because I'd seen this online um, like last week and I thought it was so cute they had a um, male version male school and then a female school as well um, but they only had like you if you ordered it online they would send you whichever one and they only had this one in stock in person so I went ahead and picked it up uh, regular price was $40 all of the mortal stuff was on sale for half off so it came out to 20 it's really pretty just like this altar so you can hang it it has a little hook up here so you can hang it and put like photos or little like mini pieces on the ofrenda I just think it's so pretty and then it has this you can even put like a candle here it's beautiful um, I will say I did notice and you can see that tiny chip there it's on both sides um, and I didn't notice that until after I'd already left but it's still so pretty and 20 bucks I think it was a good price I feel like um, I don't know like what those stuff I'm always so hesitant about because like I don't want to buy them from big box stores um, especially from like white owned big box stores because it's just like they're profiting off of our culture but 
I thought this was really pretty and I think I can spruce it up a little bit more too but I thought it was so cute like it so that's one thing I got um, so all the muertos, all the Halloween stuff was on sale. So I picked up, um, also from the muertos section, I picked up these um, silicone molds. Um, so I got one of pan dulce, of the conchas, and then one of the panda muerto. And I thought it would be really cool to make into, um, I don't know. I maybe not like not use it to make like actual pan, but to use it um I think even like with air dry clay to make like little like containers I think would be cute to do of these and then you can paint them and have them like be a little dish that you can put a treat underneath or something. Um yeah, these were five bucks each. And they're pretty good size. So I got those two. They had um some other variations of them but those are the ones I liked the most. I picked those up. And then from that, they also had, this was like, I paid way too much for this. I don't know why I got this actually. It was a little like a uh, paper pad because I do a lot of crafts um, with my Cricut uh, and a lot of paper crafting, like especially for holidays. And so this was um, 24 sheets and you get all the pretty colors and the mats, just like the solid um, cardstock and the glitter too. But it's a little six by six, so I think I can do that. Uh, I don't know how big the joy is actually. But I figured like instead of having to waste a whole scrap, like, I could at least have this. So I picked that up. This was five bucks, way too much, but again, I just wasn't paying attention. Um, and then I think I would say that I got from the Muerto section, but then all the Halloween was on sale for 50 off. And so I picked up this, because I thought it would be so cute. Like it's a 3D cake mold. So you would do like the front and back and then seal it together with icing in the middle. But I thought it would be so cool to do it like to make like a chip, a dip out of it or um, like to do so maybe put like like pancake batter and bake it or cake batter and like just make it like a, a shell and then have like some, I don't know, fresh fruit or something or even to do like a like a baked brie ooh, and that would be so pretty so pick this up this was uh 7.50 so that was that and then i also got from the halloween section these lights um these were 10 bucks they were so they're a piece of gauze like almost like a pennant flag and then they have the lights on top of them so i'm gonna hang these in my front room um you get 35 lights on it it's nine feet so it's a pretty good size again 10 bucks um it says if one or more bulbs burn out, the others stay lit, which is nice. And it comes with a spare fuse too, which I think like, I spent so long putting up lights today for them to like a whole, I have half a strand of lights. It doesn't even turn on. Very upset. <laughs> so um, maybe I can use the fuse to save that. And then I have like become so obsessed with fairy lights. Like I get them everywhere. Anytime I see them on sale, I pick them up. So these were 350. No, they weren't. These were $4. Um, but they're color changing, orange and purple, and then eight functions. So they do like the flicker and then the like wave into each other, the separate colors. So I got some of those. Um, wow, this one's long, 15 feet. So I picked those up because I'm always using these. And then I was, um, I just picked up a roll of the Oracle vinyl because uh, this is on sale for like six bucks. Um, so I picked this one up just because I need black vinyl I have a lot of black iron on and no black sticker vinyl um, so it's got that and this was is it the shiny or is it matte I didn't even look I just saw black and went for it anyway and then um, as I was leaving because I had gone in obviously like not intending to buy anything and wound up so I didn't get a basket wound up leaving with like my hands full of things like things like under my chin holding it like this um, but as I was leaving I saw that they had all of this stuff from the Hispanic Heritage Month up and so I picked up it's the Viva Tu Heritage um, everything was 60% off I think so I saw this sign and I thought it was so cute again I'm gonna put it in my kitchen I think it says hola I just thought it was fun and my mom can like paint it and do whatever she wants uh, so it's five dollars so 60 off of that what is that like two two dollars 
that right? Zero times five, thirty-two. Two bucks? Maybe? No? Who knows? I got that. And then, um, I also picked up this cute little monita. It's, um, it's a little kit to make a little Frida doll. How cute was that? And this one is, again, like $2. I just thought it was so adorable. So it has, like, the needle, the thread, it has everything that you need to make the doll. Shapes, stickers, adhesive gem, wiggle eyes, plastic needle, string, fiber fill. So cute. They only had one of them. Otherwise, I'd have bought more, but I just thought it was adorable. So that'll be a fun little craft. And then the last thing I got was um, this t-shirt that says, Hablo Spanglish. How cute. I just thought it was so fun. And um, I'm very fluent in Spanglish too. So I picked that up. This one was like, so 12, maybe like five bucks for this one. Um, yeah, so that's what $70 at Michael's looks like. And it was mainly because the um, altarpiece was 20 bucks. But it added up very fast. Anyway, so yeah, I stayed outside five ever putting up lights and I hate the way that it looks. I think that um, it looks exactly as it did before and I'm exhausted. My body is so sore and it's like for a while. So I'm feeling a little Halloween frustrated today, but tomorrow's a new day. <sighs> Hopefully it'll be better. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!